Greetings fellow gamers, welcome to another The Others Seven Sins unboxing. Uh, in this unboxing we're going to look at some of the nice plastic upgrades, the optional extras that you could get if, uh, if you wanted to pony up a little bit of extra money and I think they're well worth it. We're looking at The Others Plastic Token Pack and also the Corruption Pack and the Wounds Pack. And I have, at no expense spared, I have uh, dragged in my personal assistant, Connor, to help me with this unboxing. Say hello, Connor. Hello. Good boy. Okay, now which do you think we should do first? I reckon we should leave this to last. Which one out of these should we do first? Mm. I think probably the tentacly ones. The tentacly ones. I think that is a fantastic choice. Let's make a little bit of space here. And can you see if you can open that box of tentacly goodness? <coughs> now this side, I've cheated a little bit. There was some tape on there. I've taken that off. So just be careful they don't spray everywhere. Yep, because if we don't want a volcano of them. We don't want a volcano of tentacles, do we? Yep. Good boy. Okay, now see if you can put them over here. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, no, tip them. Why not? Yep. Oh, oh my oh. word. <laughs> <laughs> I did not think there would be that many. Holy dolly. How many are there? Um, I'm, I'm going to cheat two, and say three, 60. 60 tentacle tokens. Wow. Now, what do you think of them? Do they look like real tentacles? Um, well, no, because tentacles aren't actually real. <laughs> well, tentacles are real. It's just things like Cthulhu isn't real. The no. tentacles are real. No, I meant ones by themselves. Oh, I see. Because just tentacles by themselves yeah. don't really exist, but on octopuses and squids. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, you are absolutely right. I'll tell you what, they've, they've done a fantastic job of these. I really like, I'm so glad I upgraded and got this optional extra. Uh, I mentioned in one of the previous videos, I'm a, a big Lovecraft Cthulhu fan and play, uh, play quite, a, quite a lot of Fantasy Flight's Cthulhu line. But I'm a massive fan of Elder Signs, so these corruption tokens are going to come in very, very handy. For that. Let's see if we can get some of the detail on there. Oh, great. I love the colour as well. It's a sort of a mucky pea green, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> okay. What do you think of these? Tentacly. Tentacly. Do you think they'd be handy for some of our games? Yeah, probably. Probably. Good boy. Okay, let's keep moving on. What's next? Love hearts. Love hearts. Do you know what they're used for? They're called uh, wound tokens. So they keep track of how many hit points and how much damage some of the characters in the game have taken. Good job. Well, they are red, but <laughs> they aren't. They still aren't the beast master. No, they're not the same type of red, are they? Yeah, no, they're not quite the same uh, same colour. Not even the ultimate beast master. Now, how many wound tokens do we get in here? You know what? I don't, I don't even know if they tell it. Oh, they do. They do. Mm -hmm. Sixty to save you counting. <laughs> You'd be there for a while, wouldn't you? Yep. Wound life markers for using games such as Arcadia Quest, Rum and Bones, Wrath of Kings, and anything else you'd like. Very, very handy. Now, um, in the in the base game, you do actually get little. Um, little uh, packets of both of these which was a nice surprise I wasn't expecting uh, for some reason uh, I wasn't expecting to get uh, proper plastic tokens in the base game I thought they'd just be um, cardboard so uh, uh, now it is only a limited number in the base game so I think it might be oh, gee, 10 or 15 in each packet if, we, if we're lucky I guess but here we're overwhelmed with health and tentacle goodness. <laughs> so I'm very glad I grabbed these. I'll give you a little uh, look at uh, the detail. 
close up here. Let's see if I can get focus on those. There we go. So, yeah. Really nice. And I'm hoping more games do this and, uh, you know, offer these optional extras to, uh, to upgrade things. As I know, I backed Cthulhu Wars as well, and I'm really glad that they've, uh, they, they're have they doing that with their uh, Onslaught 2. They're offering a, a nice little pack that upgrades a lot of the components. Okay, Connor, are you ready for the big one? Yes. Yeah, here we go. So, the plastic token pack. A very creepy and cool monster at yes. the same time there. He is very creepy, isn't he? Yeah. Yuck. Okay, now there are staples at the top we need to get into to open this. So, I'll do that bit. Just bear with me here. They still aren't the Beastmaster. They still aren't the Beastmaster at all. Or I'm going to put you down for one second. And I'll get these staples out, staples out and I'll be right back. Okay, and we are back. Now that was pretty hard to get into. The staples through plastic, very, very difficult. So, but my faith dollar system here is up for the task. Okay. Nice work. Hopefully we don't lose them off the edge of the table. Ah. Oh, so it's a dangerous nice. job unboxing to tell you. Oh, now you know what? There are little seals in the middle here. That's what we need to. Oh, there we go. Oh, dear. There's another one. Oh, sorry about the noise. There we go. <laughs> oh, my Wow. What do you think of these? Cool. Aren't they cool? Which, a... which do you think we should look at first? I think this one. Okay. Now, how do you think... How do you think they feel? Plasticky. Yeah, they're, they're a hard plastic, aren't they? Yeah. Which means, because normally in the game, in the base game, uh, they're just cardboard tokens. So over time, all the colours will fade and get rubbed out and the edges will get dull. So with these plastic tokens, they'll last a lot, lot longer and they look a lot better as well. I must admit, these look fantastic. I'd love to see an option at some stage uh, for softer, sort of semi-flexible uh, plastic or sort of rubberized tokens. So you still get, because this is nice, but they are very firm and unforgiving. So on a, on a table, they'll still be they'll still be difficult to pick up. Or something if it was uh, semi-flexible, if, if it had a bit of give, a bit of rubberization, I think they'd uh, they'd work a lot better on a tabletop. But that said, it's a massive upgrade from just plain old uh, bog standard cardboard. Okay, what else do we have, Connor? Let's um, show the people some others. So probably this one. That one. Let's see. Plus one. Plus one. Very nice. What do you think of the design? Oh, a question mark on the back. There we go. They're nicely done. I mean, they're, they're graphically, they're nice and bold. Okay, can you choose another one for me? I have a question about that one first. Sure. Why does it have a question mark on the back of it? That is a very good question, which I don't know the answer to. <laughs> I'll have to read the rules and find out, won't I? <laughs> yep. <laughs> it is a bit weird. Hmm. Might be the badge one. Yep, sure. Okay. They can be a bit tricky, can't they? And that's where a bit of rubberization would help. Okay, really nicely done. I like I like that they look a little bit weathered as well. If they were just a flat colour, it wouldn't have quite the same character to it. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, what's next? Ah, oh, the big one, the faith badge. You get it? A bit tricky, isn't it? Good work, nicely done. Okay, show me one. Kind of shieldy. Kind of shieldy? Yeah. Yep. See if I can get some light on it and give you an idea of the, the depth, the um, 
the engraving on the tokens is uh, is really nicely done. So there's enough depth there for for it to capture the um, the paint and the colours properly. And there isn't much bleed either. They've done uh, they've done a really nice job. Very nice indeed. Okay, what's next, Connor? This one. Let's have a look. Nice work, and again, double sided. Okay, let's uh, speed things up a bit. What else do we have? Gee, they are hard to get out, aren't they? You did a good job getting those others out. Okay, near the side. Getting close to the end here. Still none of them have been Lavaria. Still none of them have been Lavaria, no. He's your favourite new Lego set, isn't he? She. She, sorry, she. I always get that mixed up. Well, there is also a he, the Beast Oh, yes, Master. the Beastmaster. Very nice. Okay, back on focus here. Yeah, we aren't supposed to be <laughs> previewing right. Lego. We're meant to be talking about the others, aren't we? Yep. I'm glad you've got, I've got you here to keep me focused. Maybe we should like do a double video for these because it might take a long time. I'll tell you what, it might. Oh, there we go. Red. Yeah, are they nice? Yep. On the other yeah. side, they're red. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Again, we'll have to read the rules. Well, I will. You're not old enough for this year. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, to find out exactly what they're for. Look, uh, there you go. That is the um, the plastic token pack for the others, and I think it's uh, it's money well spent. The um, cardboard is wonderful, but it is ageing technology. So, uh, as I say, I'd love to see this offered as a as a, a standard thing in all board games, really. And uh, but moving forward, I, I really would like to see these sort of tokens with a rubberized feel to them. So, uh, so you gain the added durability, the uh, the colours really popping, but a little bit of um, you know. Uh, a bit of a different tactile sense. The hard plastic is good, but a little bit of uh, rubberization to help it grip in the hand and on the uh, on the uh, table a bit better would be the ideal situation. You never know, it'll it'll happen. Surely, surely it'll happen. But yeah, really good optional spend, I think. And so the plastic token pack and the corruption pack, 60 tentacle tokens, and the wounds pack. Very, very nice indeed. More than happy to have made the uh, made the upgrade on those guys. Ah, oh, very good. Oh, the others. Okay, so that is it for yet another unboxing of the others. Seven cents. Thanks once again for watching. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and uh, and tell your tell your friends, tell your gaming friends. I'll be back again with another the others unboxing very, very soon. Until then. Uh, Take care. I'll see you soon. And uh, goodbye from my faithful assistant, Connor. Say goodbye, Connor. Goodbye. Okay. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye.